Hello, YouTube. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is the other scanner I was telling you about. This is an MC9063. Uh, currently, it's charging right now. Pretty cool. This runs Windows Mobile. Not showing up very well. It's got Wi Fi, Bluetooth, and a two dimensional barcode scanner. It'll read all those quote funny looking barcodes out there. Um, those ones that we're all used to seeing on the back of driver's licenses and packages, QR codes, all that type of stuff. Interesting things. Also, the cool thing about it is the imager scanner part can actually take real low grade grayscale pictures, which is kind of cool. I've got a cold. It sucks. This thing is neat because it's really durable. Um, look up a video called Destruction Impossible. I don't remember the guy's name that made it. He pretty much takes one of these and throws it out of cars. He's going down the road. Uh, pretty cool. Made me want one. Paid 300 bucks for this thing. <laughs> Believe it or not. Oh, many years ago. About four or five years ago, actually. Um, they sell new for about two or three grand. Freaking expensive. Um, there's videos of them being thrown in water, being dropped off a fire truck, a ladder's way up in the air, all kinds of stuff. They're really rugged. The ones Symbol makes now are a lot smaller and still have the same ruggedness to them. Pretty cool units. A lot of companies will use them for store inventory. They got ones with a pistol grip handle, a little bit longer keypad. Delivery drivers use them. Um, some form or another, they're they're pretty standardized piece of equipment. Here's the connection on the bottom. That's the battery in there. And connects to this charging and sync cradle. One thing Motorola does not do except for the standard USB connector, they do not make their pinouts standardized across everything, which I think is stupid. And cables are ridiculously expensive. They're like 30 bucks for a stupid sink cable. Uh, which is greed for you though. Hey, big stores can afford it, so let's charge them out the butt for it. It can also be activated as a Verizon cell phone, believe it or not. Pretty cool. There's the speaker and the microphones down there. Yep. I'm not going to pay 100 bucks for data rates on it, so I just use the Wi-Fi. Pretty cool deal. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this. I'll probably upload this one either tonight or later. Have a good one.